Happy Spooktober, everybody. We're playing the spookiest game of all. Kelby, what have Lu I been saying Louis to you for the last five or six years or however Lu long we've been Luigi's doing the channel? Luigi's Spooky Mansion. Kelby, what have I been saying to you over the last however long we've had this channel every October? This is the first year we've actually made episodes for October, so... Yeah, but what have I been saying to you every single year we've had this channel in the month of October? That what we should do I play say? this game? That we should play this game. And what have we done every single year? Not played this Probably game. Probably ignored me. <laughs> we didn't ignore you, it's just I didn't feel like it was the right time to play the game. In October. <laughs> Except, usually, we like, normally I would have recorded this with you a while back. I would have recorded this with you last month in preparation for October, but the time has not really allowed for that too well. So now here we are, partway through, <laughs> School. Spook, partway through Spooktober, recording Spooktober episodes for the end of the month. What, what's the date today? In two days, we should be putting them up. Which date's when we're recording this, but whatever. It's Friday the 13th. Ooh, Ooh. Super spooky. It's extra spooky. So, uh, how many jump scares are we going to see in here? Uh, technically, every ghost appearing is supposed to be a jump scare. This is one of the least scary games I've ever played, though. I know. <laughs> Just because they don't want to spook children too much? All I know is that this is by far one of my highlight games from when I was a kid. In fact, back uh, a while ago, we weren't we didn't record it or anything like that, but there was one time when you, Kendra, Johnny, and... Oh god, I forgot that the C stick is self up. You forgot what? The vertical, like the vertical on the C stick is inverted by default in this game. Oh, are you able to turn that off? I mean, I could, but I'm used to playing the game like that. I just have to, you know, readjust to it. Okay. But anyway. So, there was one time where you guys, you, Kendrew, Johnny, and Mav, mm -hmm. you were all playing around as zombies. And yes. I was just sort of sitting there watching you guys at one point. And I think around round seven or so, I just went and said, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna set up. I'm gonna set up your GameCube on this other TV over here, and I did, and I started playing this game. And then what ended up happening as I was playing this game was you guys kept your round of zombies going for like a ridiculously long time, as we did it back then when we were actually good at the game. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, you did a lot of that stuff. Like you, you guys kept that game going for so long. That I was able to unintentionally speedrun this game and actually beat the whole thing before you guys lost the round. Our longest round you were included in, so I'm not sure which one that was. The longest we ever played uh, oh, God, Black Ops 2 we, Zombies was fucking you mean, 12 you mean the hours. One we, uh, the one where we pursued that uh, Easter egg, and I'm, I swear to God, it had to have been bugged. Uh, I don't remember. I mean, it probably was bugged. That was back when it j had just come out, so, uh, not the game, but the DLC, so it was definitely bugged. But either way, yeah, we, we, spent... pl we played that for literally 12 hours, and the only reason I know that is because we were recording the whole thing, and I had to delete the file because the file was so fucking huge that I l could literally not even use it in a editing program without crashing my computer. The I remember the file size. It was 121, no, 28 gigabytes. Yeah, that's the size of most hard drives now yes. on laptops. Yes, it was. It, it was at least 128. I don't remember the exact, but it was. It was not, not something I kept because I, that was a lot of footage to just have to throw away. But I mean, by the time we were at 12 hours, we weren't really talking all that much either. Yeah, no. Well, we... no, I mean for... Well, that was also because, you know, we at, were defeated. At 12 hours, no, we were talking a lot because we died very, very, very painfully. Because I remember this was with Buried, and we were hiding in that one room, and then all the zombies came in. And if, if you've never played Black Ops 2 Zombies, it's just a wave, wave-based zombies game with like goals you can do that aren't like well established but there's like little easter egg oh, weapons and stuff again. you can get and uh one of the things we got was a thing that reversed time so that we could go back to previous rounds of like previous waves 
and uh, the what we did was we just for like an hour kept hitting the button to rewind to whatever round it was every time <laughs> every time we were about to die so we just we just dragged out the end of that game as long as we possibly could and then we got bored so we decided to just let them swarm us just end it merci mercifully mercifully yeah mercifully that's the word I'm looking for get him you're gonna get him good I clearly did not turn down this TV enough. Holy fuck, why are the ghosts so loud? I don't know. There's fireworks. Yay! This is the equivalent to rotating the camera in this game. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna skip the gallery. Why? Because there's no paintings in there. Oh, Where yeah. will I go? The mansion. The, the camera angle in that room kind of reminded me of something. I watched a review that... that... I hope you like that camera angle, because that's pretty much the majority of the game. <laughs> I know, but I, I mean, some someone did a review of Super Mario 3D World. I think it was probably Donkey. And he mentioned what makes the game feel so janky that I never really realized before. What's that? Okay, so you know how in Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, the camera follows you? Yeah. Did you ever notice that it doesn't really do that in Super, Mar Super Mario 3D World? No, it just sort of does its own thing. It focuses on the stage itself and you run around freely. Not not just that, but like in certain bonus rooms, it's just you running around the room with a fixed camera angle and that's what makes it feel really janky. And that, that made a lot of sense. And I finally realized that, that, that's, that, that was where the jank came from. Ah, uh, yes, the magic mirrors in this game. So, for those of you who have never played this game, it's a fantastic game. I strongly recommend it. Uh, Kelby, do you remember what the mirrors do? No. If you go into the camera that I just did there with using the uh, the Game Boy Horror, I mm -hmm. love that. Uh, what you can do is you can just you can press A to scan the mirror, and when you scan the mirror, what it ends up doing is it'll teleport you back to this starting room. Okay. It's very useful for getting through the mansion quickly. Did you, did you just need to take off the thing that was covering it in order to activate that? Yeah. Look at all these coins. Well, not really, because it keeps recovering them and everything like that, but... Ooh, money. What does money do? Unless you upgrade stuff, I'm guessing? Nope. What does it do, then? It affects what you get at the end of the game for your ma actual mansion. Okay. So, wait, this isn't the actual mansion? No. Did you play through this game? Not okay. all the way. I, I I played through this when I was fucking... Oh, do we want to do a nice big spoiler warning here? Why? Because I can tell you exactly what's going on here and it summarizes the entire thing. Actually, now that I think about it, EGAD's already summarized the entire thing and I just skipped right through it. <laughs> okay. Uh, this mansion wasn't built, it just sort of appeared on the hill several days before... Not I so. remember that he says that at the beginning of the game. Yeah. So This that's mansion not, not isn't real. It's created by the ghosts. And then at the end of the game, what Luigi ends up doing is he goes and he create like he takes the money he found in this mansion and he makes his own. I see. And then however much money you get, that depends on how nice the mansion you build is. And then you get a grade at the end of the game. Based entirely on how much money you got. Did you know that they officially made Mario not a plumber? Recently, like within the last month. Really? Yes. He's, what is he? He's not a plumber. I don't know what he is. I should look it up. But they 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 retconned him being a, a plumber. He's not a plumber anymore. What is he? I'm not sure. Um, Mario plumber. Oh, God, that chest. That's the number one thing everybody likes to criticize about this game. How does Luigi open the chests? He humps them. <laughs> Did you say that that's the number one thing people like to criticize about the game? That's one of the things people like to make jokes about. Okay, because... Is that a better phrasing? Yes, because there's I've seen people online that really don't like this game, and I'm sure they'd have a lot more to criticize than just that. Like this uh, 60 FPS animation? <laughs> that is literally just turning a key 
This happens more than once in the game. This it? happens at every door. <laughs> If you let and, and you can you skip that? Absolutely. Okay, well at least there's that. Okay, let's see. News. <laughs> oh good. Guess what? You remember when I told you <laughs> that he's not a plumber anymore? What is he? This 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 first this first article this I don't know what he is, but this first article is titled If Mario isn't a plumber, what is he even? What convenience that we would find an article that is exactly your question. Yeah. <laughs> this article starts out with the words, I used to consider Mario my friend and the world's friend. Okay, I was hoping to get both. What is this? Are you still looking for what Mario is now? Jack of all trades. <laughs> he is no longer a plumber. That was a hey. long time ago. Official statement from... Uh, well, paraphrase statement from Nintendo. How does that make you feel? Wait, was 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 Luigi ever a plumber? Yes. I can tell by the way that he's fighting these ghosts, just as plumbers do. That bastard. You can eat that banana. Nope. Why not? It's good potassium. Look out. You say look out. You really didn't play this game, did you? I did play this game. I played it almost to completion, but I I, I played it in... When did the GameCube come out? 2001? Way back when the GameCube came out? No, I played it about two or three years after. So I would have been not even ten. You were you first. Annoying. That was back in, in in the time when I didn't play... I still don't play games to completion. I just play them until I get bored of them. And then I put them down, and then sometimes I return to them, and sometimes they just sit there forever, incomplete. Fucking bananas. This is one of those games. But that's also because uh, I used to treat my games like shit. So uh, my original disc for this game got destroyed, essentially. It would not play anymore. Like, we don't have my case that I have of it now just sitting nearby, but it has a little sticker on it that says how much I bought it for. Yeah. Do you know what the, the, the price for this game is? Nowadays? Yes. A lot. $60. See, the, the lucky part is that this game was really heavily mass-produced, so there's a lot of copies out there. So, uh, it's not That's particularly rare. It's the good thing if you're a game collector. Cuz the worst the worst part of game collecting is trying to uh trying to collect rare games cuz you sometimes you can find a deal but it takes a long long time. Like you Now when you say rare games, do you mean games that are hard to find or games made by rare? Both. Because rare games have an incredibly high inflated price. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Uh Luigi's Mansion did FaceTime first. Did they? Yes. He's talking to you through the Game Boy Horror. Did they do FaceTime first, or are you thinking of Star Trek? Well, I'm probably thinking of Star Trek. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure Star Trek did it first. They did cell phones first. Many, many years before a cell phone would ever exist. Look! Money! That's not suspicious at all. A trail of money leading to a particular room. Or a particular door, rather. I'm gonna guess that was a fake door. Yes. Something, something, Rick and Morty, real fake doors, ha ha ha. What a cancerous fan base.
I don't think the Rick and Morty fandom will ever, ever recover from Szechuan Sauce. I think it is forever, forever just broken. Look at that guy. Yeah, look at him. He's all, he's all spooky. Before you fight him, we should, we should bring this... Well, that's too late. <laughs> I already warned you before you did it. Technically, you warned me as I was doing it. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I gave... I warned you well before you did it. Oh, look at how long the fight took. <laughs> so what's the clickbait for the next episode going to be then, right? The rest of them. The rest of them? Yes. <laughs> what's in this chest? Ooh, find out in the next episode. Ooh, spook. Remember to like the video, comment, subscribe, and... Uh... Mourn for those who were Rick and Morty fans and hate what the fandom has become.